Hey, what's up everyone? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we are looking at the DC Collectibles Gods and Monsters Wonder Woman. So obviously this is in the animated style, uh, and it actually looks really darn good. They did a great job with the overall aesthetic of the figure. Uh, we do have a few problems though, so we're going to get into that, but first, let's give her a height measurement. She stands roughly 16 centimeters to the top of her little hat thingy. And that makes her just about six and a half inches tall to that. To the head, she's obviously a little bit shorter. Very nice looking figure in general. And she does have a few accessories, so let's look at those first. We have the alternate hands, or interchangeable hands. Uh, she comes with the two standard, just kind of relaxed hands in the package. And then we get four more hands. So let's see if I can grab these. They're so tiny on these figures. We have two, there it goes. We have two fist hands, which are, like I said, very tiny, but they look nice and they have the gold paint on there, so that's all right. And then we have two gripping hands, and we have the two gripping hands because we also get a sword, which they did really well. I love the way this looks with that gold paint on there. It's super clean, very nicely done. I like that a lot. And then lastly, of course, we have the little display stand, which... I don't really care for, so I'll just show you the base. The uprights are just ugly and not very effective. But the bases are cool with the little character art on there. So that's it for accessories. Not a huge amount, but I think it's an okay amount. And the figure, like I said, does look really good. She has very nice appeal. Um, <clears throat> that's kind of where the good stuff stops, though. I mean, I, so the appeal, it counts for paint and sculpt. The paint and sculpt are both very well done. You can see lots of detail throughout the figure. Uh, but the articulation is incredibly, incredibly limited. Uh, the skirt is soft, so that shouldn't get in the way of the articulation. But the hips just don't work that well anyway. And then the hair is soft, but the head doesn't work that well anyway. So it's a little disappointing. But let's go through it anyway. So the head, mostly you're just going to get that much of a swivel side to side. It can lean a little bit, but not a whole lot. And especially going forward and back, it's almost non-existent. So that's pretty disappointing. The shoulders, while really well um, sculpted, range of motion is limited to that. You cannot raise the arms any more than that without really forcing it. And even then, based on the sculpt, I don't think you're going to get much more out of it. Uh, you can bring them forward, so that's okay. They go almost all the way forward, so that's really nice. So they have the full swivel, so that's okay. And then for the elbows themselves, we have a bicep swivel built in with the joint. Uh, but I don't know whoever designed this joint that they've been using lately. It's ridiculously bad. It should not have ever made it through production. Giving that little spiky thing on the elbow is not okay. And the articulation's still really limited, so it's ugly and doesn't work well. So that's really disappointing. And then, of course, the wrists, you can see, are hinged and swiveled, so there's nothing really to talk about there. Those are okay. Waist twist, do we get one? We do not. No waist twist. No ab crunch, no nothing. The hips have the standard DC Collectibles animated series style hips. So those work okay. Um, they're still ugly though when you bring them out to the side. Hers are actually not too bad considering how bad some have been, but they're just not great. No thigh swivel. We have a single jointed knee which is still ugly and only moderately effective. So that's alright, I guess. And then for the ankles, we get a swivel at the ankle and at the top of the boot, which serves absolutely no purpose. You don't need two swivels right next to each other. That's ridiculous. And no ankle hinge. There's no hinge at all. So why'd they not put a hinge in? Laziness, cheapness. That has to be it because there's no good reason for that. We do get our little ankle rocker, which works really well. But since there's no hinge in the ankle, there's very, very few poses you can do that will utilize any leg articulation. There's no hinge in the ankle, guys. That's unacceptably ridiculous so it's a very nice looking figure but um, some serious flaws in the articulation make it almost unposable so that is not so good oh well uh, there it is so thanks for watching stick around for the photos at the end and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews custom figures and other good stuff in the meantime keep collecting <laughs>